Sorry, but in the meantime, you are officially suspended. Suspended? If it were down to me... Look, just go home and wait for the police to call. They will very probably want to interview you shortly. Well, what exactly do I say to them? Don't say anything until... What? Rick, what? Until you have a lawyer on board. I'm afraid there is a possibility that you will be arrested on suspicion of manslaughter. Well, golden boy, just how would you like to reward me? Don't, just, just don't. Griffin knew I'd fudge the old zero tolerance thing. No way. After dragging me in at the crack of dawn. Yeah, well, he's got me by now. I can't afford to mess up again. I'm in detention over lunch, number crunching. What? You're a doctor, Tom. Not a glorified PA to the boss. No, I'm not a doctor. Yeah. <sighs> Ward rounds. This just came out from reception. Oh, so I do exist. It's from Katrina. On the bright side, by the end of the week, you'll be a third closer to being a doctor. Yeah, if I make it to the end of the week. Uh, student O'Dowd, focus. Oh. Right, Mr. Dunkley. Ten so far. Uh, slightly jaundiced. You been vomiting? No, I'm just a bit tender, that's all. He's not been passing much urine. Mm -hmm. Temperature's up, BP down, uh, probably because of the basal atelectasis and his analgesia. Uh, painful abdomen. Due to a kink in the catheter. Easily rectified. Oh! An acute case of the blues due to being an Evertonian. Wow, he's good, isn't he? Hey, can you tell if we're going to finish above the Reds next season? Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Mr O'Dowd. So, what do you recommend for further treatment? Complete rest, IV fluids, and transfer a lot to Manu. Manu. <laughs> he's trying to finish me off. Right, your wife just called, and good news, she's coming in to see you in a bit. <coughs> Annalise, wait up. Hey, where are you going? I'm suspended, where do you think? Suspended? Why? Hubert, please, they're going to arrest me. Oh, police. Do they know? All right, let's not get spooked, then. Spooked? Freak is talking manslaughter. All right, hey, look, hey, hey, come on. We will talk this through. We'll organize a defense before you go to the police. Come on, this is Team Spence, like everything else we've been through. We've done it before. We'll do it again. I don't know whether you've noticed, but the team broke up. There is no way back from this. Okay, Mr. Dunkley. When can I leave? Well, I was down to Dr. Young, but judging by the good results we've had so far. Well, you know, today, now, when? What's the score, Andy? Listen, you're a good bloke. Thanks. Do me a favour? What if I can? Well, it's the wife's birthday tomorrow. You know the big 4 -oh. And if I can get a card sorted, maybe she'll feel better towards me. Chocolates? Box of chocolates, yeah, a nice one. You couldn't nip down the shop, could you? What? <laughs> oh, really, I'm a bit busy, you see. Yeah, of course you are. Did I mention I've had excellent treatments here? I mean, I mean, there must be a form I could fill in. I mean, your bosses should know. Without the likes of you, the NHS would crumble. Right, well, I'm, I'm on my break in a bit. Hey, you know what would really do the trick? One of them big, thick fashion magazines. Wouldn't hurt, I suppose. Make her feel like she's still got it. And she has, don't get me wrong, and a nice, decent bottle of plonk. Oil the wheels and all <laughs> that, you know. oh. I've got me wallet handy. No, don't worry, no. We can settle up later. Look, I'll see what I can do. Yeah. Go on. <sighs> Is that wound causing pain? Uh, no, 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 no. It, it's fine, it's fine. Well, Shouldn't you have gloves on or something? I'm not going to remove the dressing. It's not my remit. No, it looks dry anyway. Come on, in you get. You're a good doctor, you know. Some old dad, isn't he? Sorry, sorry. Uh, window open. Thank you. Thank you very much. No, 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 I'm just glad you could make it. Um, just grab a table downstairs, I'll meet you in 10. All right. Uh, so it is just our old friend, Kirsty Draycott. Uh, can Mr. Griffin take on any more today, do you know? He's working in healthy care. Sorry! Sorry. 
Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Cold hands. I tell you every time. Warm your healing, healing hands, hands, Mr. Spence. Spence. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's a shame you're back with us again. Oh, no, can you believe it? Mm. All right. Uh, laparoscopic removal of the appendix, right? Go ahead. I know the ropes. By the way, Mum's been baking for you again. Hmm. Oh, so I see. Yes, you shouldn't have. One falls for my consultants. You can't blame her with this one, can you, Mr. Spence? Hmm? <laughs> it's okay. It's quite a relief not to be fussed over. Sorry, excuse me. Can I have a quick word with you? I really need the rest of the morning free. You're bumping her. She doesn't want to be fussed over it, not completely ignore it. All right, okay. You've got a lot on your plate today. Okay, you were next up in theater, but your obs have all checked out fine, so I don't think there'd be any harm in waiting a little while. Suppose not. Waiting lists haven't killed me yet. Emergency case coming, has it? Yeah. We're really sorry. Thanks for your understanding. Oh, uh, Nurse Jackson, maybe a few more magazines for our patient. It's a pneumothorax. Yeah. That's right. Dad? Why did you sneak out the crack of dawn? Ben and I were worried sick. Giles and I had some business. Did you take Samson to the vet? No. I'm not having him lingering on in some pet clinic. Dad. Martha, I know what I'm doing. How is he? Not good. He's got a tear in his lung. But he's sedated now, so it doesn't hurt a thing. Can I? Mm, yeah. Giles, thank you. Of course, you do realise, if he were an ordinary patient, this would be a simple operation. Dad, we need to take Samson to a vet. No, we'd never get a thoracic vet at such short notice. I need to close the leak, and fast. Dad, we need to I know this. what's best, Martha. I wonder if Darwin's free. Dad, stop it. I can save him, Martha. How seriously thinking of operating? Samson is a dog. The family dog, Martha, a noble friend. If he were human, I wouldn't think twice about it. Charles Harrison, Michael Spence. Thank you for finding the time. Uh, sorry, it's such a short notice. Almost didn't make it. Some psycho tried to run me down in the car park. Uh, coffee? Black. Two, please. Okay, so, what happened? A patient died on the table. Routine op, nothing unusual, a beast guy. Doesn't make it. What the coroner said? Natural causes, in death. So why are the police sniffing around? There was some discrepancy on the notes made during theater. This is routine op. She made one small error. Who? Oh, sorry, of course. Uh, Annalise Carson, the anesthetist, my wife. Your so wife? She's a suspect. Yeah, okay. So she makes one small error on the notes, which she corrects. And now they're all over it as though that's the reason why the guy pegged it. Thank you. I would do anything to protect my wife. Shaking up the marriage a bit, has it? All right, look, what I'm concerned about is what we would say in court, if it comes to that. Well, I can see now why you needed to see me so urgently. All right, so you'll take it on. Let's speak to your wife. I so reckon the police are here knows my wife about Hewitt. Hewitt, but why? Well, I mean, maybe yes, it wasn't natural causes. What do you mean, like a bookshop? I was nearly in on that, Maddie. I mean, I was scrubbed up and ready to go. Yeah, until Dr. Carson sent you out, remember? Dr. Carson? Do you think it was her? Because... I saw her coming out of Griffin's office really upset. Right. Wait, what if they want to talk to me? I can't have done anything wrong, can I? No, I was in on that up. They haven't come to see me, have they? No, I'm sure it's just routine. I won't worry. But thanks for the heads That's up, yeah? No, I have to cancel. I'm on a tight deadline. I can't go away, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's for Andy Dunkley. Yeah, I, I, no, it's important I do this. It's work for Mr Griffin. Yeah, I can't get out of it. 